thoughts. All right, guys, uh, real quick, we're going to go into another topic that I saw before we get into the last and final topic. It's a topic I forgot to put in our little um, bars here, but it's about Quentin Tarantino quitting oh, yeah. his film, The Film Critic. Now, I am a fan of um, Quentin's uh, movies. I think that, uh, like, I He's love the the Hateful Eight. I love Django. I love Django. Kill Bill 1 and 2. Um, I'm a fan of his movies. I'm not necessarily a fan of his comments about certain things. Um, mm. I'm not, a, I don't, I disagree with him for, uh, in terms of where the movie industry is, because I think Quentin Tarantino is one of those privileged directors who has the opportunity to tell his stories on the big screen. Not too many mm-hmm. people are directors have that privilege. Because no studio know, interference. All hey, hey, Exactly. Yep. It's all him. And I don't know too many people. And people say, well, the Mar- like, look at look at the Russo brothers. Bro, I can tell you the Russo brothers, regardless of their their um their gender or, or their uh, uh nationality, Marvel interfered with every movie that they touched. Mm-hmm. Every movie. But let quit now. i now I, I'm willing to bet if Quentin did a Marvel movie, he's not gonna get his way with that movie. I know that for a fact. <laughs> But he wanted to. Um, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but he he actually wanted to do a Luke Cage movie before the MCU was a thing. He wanted to do that. Could you imagine that though? Luke oh, Cage R rated. No, <laughs> oh man, that'd be crazy. I just see. Yeah. I can. I can picture uh, Mike Coulter, but like with an afro and like actually <laughs> looking like Luke Cage mm-hmm. back in the day. That would be dope. Yep. Um, I'm actually kind of saddened that he's not doing this film. Um, he mm-hmm. doesn't really give a specific reason why it's just something that he's cho- choosing not to do uh ian you heard this news why why do you think that he's not doing this film and are you a fan of his uh his uh, filmography oh i'm a big fan man i love um Django is one of my favorite movies of all time i love pulp fiction i love the hateful eight i think he's a fantastic director uh probably one of the best when it comes to dialogue do i think he drops the m-bomb a little bit too much uh yeah sometimes <laughs> especially in pulp fiction i understand it in Django. you know it's, it's it's a period piece so i get it i'm not mad about that but there's some other movies i'm like did that need an n-word it's weird um mm-hmm. but uh I do like him. He's one of my favorite directors, and I love that Like he always has this dynamic with uh, Sam Jackson as well. Um, I'm very disappointed that he's not coming out with the, the film critic because uh, I thought it was a decent premise. And it, was, it was probably just him ranting because he's gotten a lot of criticism through his whole uh, career of being someone that just is just very violent and always talking a lot about – has a lot of uh, uh, vulgar – vulgar stuff in their movies so I, I i had this feeling like he's got he's about to go off on everybody he's about to vent and just do the craziest movie ever uh especially being a film um at film critics that's always had something to say negative about him um so i don't know what he's gonna do next i hope he does a movie i hope he doesn't like end it at the the last one was that the the hollywood movie uh once time on a time in hollywood i hope he does something else but preferably like maybe something with native americans killing white people that'd be cool um but yeah i'm very disappointed in that and but he has his reasons he's a grown man and uh i do respect that hollywood likes him that much to let him do whatever he wants because like you said not many people have that privilege he he could say and do whatever he wants in these movies <laughs> he's got zero restrictions zero and like I- i'm glad that they've been able to give him that because uh to an extent um his movies all majority of his movies have been really good so i'm glad he has i'm glad he's not really on a leash i will say i hope that directors in the future will get that same type of uh um accessibility when they're directing films or major studios but what do you guys think about the film critic uh movie um not coming to fruition just jump into the comment section below let us know your thoughts and all right